Whoa, 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 it's your boy praying they rose. We are back with another video, man. And today, but we got update 1.30. Now look, y'all, I need everybody to watch this full video for me, bro. We gotta talk about a lot of stuff today, bro. A lot of stuff done came out in the past couple of hours. So we gotta talk about it. So make sure you watch this full video. And look, y'all, we are growing so fast, bro. We almost at 19,000 subscribers, but we already at 18.2. So if you can go ahead hit the sub button for me i would really really appreciate now look if you don't want to hit the sub button look i could just tell that your power level is under 9,000. i can just tell i can tell can you tell i could tell his power level under 9,000, bro we ain't bro. come on bro just hit the sub button your power level go straight up my guy we try to hit this 20k so you can help me with that make sure you hit the sub button make sure you comment and you like the video let's try to get 1,000 likes on this video but look i ain't gonna keep y'all for too long we got a lot to talk about today let's go ahead and get to this video bruh now everybody know 1.30 dropped last night and one thing in 1.30 changed was the god kamameha now the one thing that i found out with the god kamameha that changed is you get to hold it down now if this was in there before that let me know because i do not use this move when i first tried it i couldn't do this look how bro, look how long i'm holding it down for it takes all your key. Now, if it did that before, let me know, but that's the only thing that I saw different with God Kamameha because a lot of people was like, what's so different about it? And this is the only thing I found out. Now, like I said, tell me if I'm wrong. If this was already in the game, let me know. I knew you get to move it around, but I didn't know you could hold it down for this long. Now, another thing that we got was a new mirror boss fight, a level 250 mirror boss fight. Now, I had a clip for y'all where I did my live reaction to this fight and my audio messed up, bro. I did not record my audio, so that's my fault. So this is my friend gameplay right here of him dropping off mirror. I just showed the end of the fight because it was a pretty long fight. Now, he do a lot of damage, y'all. He do a lot of damage, but it is a pretty easy fight. But just do not let him put you in a chokehold. Once he gets you in that chokehold, you're not getting out. That's like Thanos putting you in a chokehold. If Thanos put you in a chokehold, you're not going nowhere, you feel me? That's how Mira is. So make sure you watch out for him. But he do do a lot of damage. And after you beat him, it's nothing different. Ain't no cutscenes or nothing like that. After you beat him, all the villainous enemies come back. You just keep doing it over and over and over. So the only thing they added was every time you beat the villainous enemies now, you just keep fighting Mira over and over again. Now, another thing y'all saw is the cars battle. Now, the cars battle is in the game. It is on the menu, but we cannot play it. Now, I don't know what time is going to be available, but when as soon as it's available, I will let y'all know and I will do some gameplay for it. I know a lot of people ain't too excited for the cars battle, but it is looking pretty different and I am going to try it. Now, like I said, I do not know what time it is supposed to come out today. I think it is. I think it's around eight o'clock. I think it is. I might be wrong, but I think it is eight o'clock. Now, Bandai tweeted this out today. Now, look, I told y'all my reading is not on a Z level. So look, bear with me. It says collect the cards scattered across the world of hashtag Dragon Ball Z Kakarot to earn tickets and unlock bonus playing cards when the Dragon Ball Card Warriors mode goes live tomorrow. Now. It is supposed to come out today, like I said, I think it is around 8 o'clock, but I do not know. And what they mean, collect all the cards, is go to your game, press start, and press Y, or triangle, whatever console you on, and look at the, um, go to cards, and these are the cards they're talking about. They saying you will be able to use these cards. I do not have all the cards, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna get on the grind, bro. I'm gonna get on the grind. Now, another thing that I peeped, I am so late on this, but... I need y'all to pay attention to this. Look at Goku outfit. Look at the symbol on Goku back. This is the first DLC. Now, when you go into the main game, there's no symbol on his back. And I know I'm so late on this. A lot of y'all might have already peeped that, but I am so late on that. And that kind of scares me a little because of customization. They haven't said nothing about customization yet, and they have not gave us our level cap yet. That's That stuff can come with the DLC. This is just the free update stuff, but that kind of scares me because that shows me that every time we access the DLC, we might get Weez Battle Suit Armor and play around with it. Then soon we go into the main game, we got that outfit on, just the basic outfit. If it's like that, bro, look, I'm gonna have to fight a manager or something. Bro, Bandai, look, we gonna have to fight. We gonna have to clash, my guy. I'm gonna have to fight you. That is so embarrassing. Like, what are you doing? I want to use my costume anywhere that I want, you feel me? So I just peeped that. I know a lot of y'all like, President Row, you late on that, bro. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But look, I just peeped that. 
So yes, bro, this is all the stuff that came out in 1.30 so far. Tell me how y'all think about it, bro. It was pretty decent. The mirror fight could have been better. I feel like they could have had a more cut scene. I don't remember his moves. It looked like he used one of Barrett's moves in that fight. That little Russian move, that looked like a Barrett's move, but it looked like they gave him a new move set because I do not remember that old fight that we did when the game first came out. But they could have did a little better with this update because they did not fix the one thing everybody that wanted them to fix. And that was Super Saiyan Aura, bro. We wanted them to fix Super Saiyan Aura, but no, it is exactly the same thing, which it is a slap in the face. But they is supposed to be fixing the dual ultimate attacks. I think that comes out with the DLC. But yeah, bro, this is everything that came out at 1.30. But so tell me what y'all think about it. Tell me if I miss something, please let me know. If I miss something, I will recover it. And yeah, bro, so tell me how y'all feel about this, bro. So when the cards battle drop, I will make a video on that. So make sure y'all be there. Make sure y'all support that video. I know a lot of y'all don't care about it. But just make sure you support the cards battle video. Look, I'm going to go on rank and I'm going to drop y'all off. You feel me? So make sure you come by through that, bro. I'm going to keep y'all updated on the DLC. And make sure you keep coming back to my channel. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm out, bro. I'm out.